Hey everybody, this is Dal Stone here doing a Let's 3D model episode 97. Well, uh, how's it going guys? So, um, I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna do this the way that I want to do it. Um, I'm just gonna just create videos and um, I'm so close to hitting my 100 videos. And then after my 100 videos, I remember I promised you guys that I'll be doing a lot more kind of different videos where I'm kind of like doing a little more like lessons more than anything uh, more like how-to videos and these type of videos will be a little bit more casual um, so so yeah I think that that's that's essentially what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, I'm just gonna uh, getting so close to 100 videos and who knows this this video might even hit that this prop that I'm gonna create might even hit that so um, so first things first is I'm going to show my desktop here, and I'll be creating today a dumpster. Okay, I'll, no, and I'll probably make it a little bit more, even more simple than this. Um, so the reason why I have this image is for like the back, because it's funny because I was thinking about uh, a dumpster, and I was like, how does the back look like? Uh, you always see this, this one, the one to the left. You don't really see... Uh, the back of a dumpster because the back of the dumpster is usually against a wall So I, I need to like double check to see what it looks like and it looks like it's just kind of carries over the same kind of pattern from the uh, from the front So I'll just do it. I'm sure dumpsters have tons of different designs um, But I think this this will do um, so I'm just gonna move this to the side Because I don't like these being in the way and I'm sorry <clears throat> All right, so uh, the the general shape of this is obviously okay. So the first thing that I always do, uh, if you guys have been following along, is I always grab the man scale. Where is the man scale? 3D art, uh, Unreal scale guy, All right? So I got I get him in here. And a dumpster, um, a dumpster usually goes up to like uh, I'm trying to. See, and, and again, references matter. So let's go to dumpster um, with a man in it, like a man next to it. So that guy's dumpster diving. So here you get this kind of reference of where and how high the dumpster should be on average. This is a good photo. Um, so this one, this one's pretty good. So close to like their chest is probably a pretty good. Kind of indication so i'm just gonna create the general shape general shape of a dumpster is not a, uh, a sphere so just gonna go something like that okay and um and let me look at the images here and i'm thinking uh that <clears throat> dumpster is pro is definitely two two people apart for sure Maybe not that far. I think something like that would be pretty good. So let's go something like... I think that would probably be a good size here. And obviously a dumpster kind of goes upwards, right? And let's see here. Um, and obviously there's like wheels and stuff at the bottom. So we'll kind of go like that. And I think a dumpster is a little bit like, goes a bit further back. Let's take a look at that image again of the two guys. Dumpster, man. Let me go back and dumpster. Um... Uh, Yeah, that should be pretty good, I think. And the how deep it goes is, I think that should be okay. I think, I think that's gonna look right. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this dude. And um, so the general shape here is uh it obviously has some wheels so i'm gonna create some just general wheels for now i'm gonna center pivot this and i'm gonna move 
uh, absolute transformation. Just move it. I'm just gonna move this over. Just move it up like that. Right, just so that it's centered, kind of like where the man scale is. And I'm and I keep forgetting to do this, but the man scale is not on the z axis. Like he should be like that. Right. All right. So I think this is a little bit still too high. Where did I put that cylinder? This is the cylinder. And what I want to do here is this is going to be the wheels. So I always usually start off with the general shape. So that's obviously way too, way too much. So I'm just going to, um, I like the height of that. So I'm just gonna go like, there you go like that. Uh, go like that. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna go like that. I'm just gonna go like this. I feel like the wheels are way too small. Let me, let me just take a look at uh, some of these images here. Um, so if I go to... Oh, what am I doing? Um, I feel like a scrub. Give me a second here. Save image. Desktop. I'm just going to delete this. So we can see the image here. I mean, that looks pretty good. I mean, it feels really small. And it probably is really small. It feels small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up a bit more. No, then it looks way too big. Um, okay, when will this feel right? So let's go... I think that feels a little bit more right. Yeah, I think that feels a little more right. So I'm just going to um, move this a little bit up, more up. Here we go. And I'm just going to duplicate these for now. Just kind of give you guys a general shape of the dumpster. Obviously, if I had like reference images and stuff, you'd be, or not reference images, but like reference, uh, like blueprints or something like that for the dumpster, then you'd use that. But this is for me just going straight off from reference. Okay, so. Um, so that's kind of like the general shape of a dumpster, right? So now we want to go and start to add <clears throat> some more like details and stuff to this. So what I'm going to do is I notice that there's like these little um, arm things on the side. Uh, so I'm going to go and quickly build those out. So the first thing I'm going to do is the general kind of shape for that is like a cube, right? So I'm just going to go here, grab this cube, and obviously this is a little bit way too much. And I probably don't even need this full side here. And this kind of goes throughout the whole, the whole dumpster. So I'm just going to go like that, grab all these vertices. Just gonna go like that. Just gonna go like that. And I'm just going to obviously this is way too much. It's gonna be like that, right? Something like that. I feel like it's still a bit too much. And this is still should be like that. Okay. Very important is to make sure that this is like cut inwards and not so there's no uh, Z fighting. And I'm just going to take that, I'm just going to extrude it. Then I'm going to kind of bring up. Oh. Kind of go like that. Using the thickness on the extrude, 
something like that. There you go. There you go. And then I'm just going to bevel this so that it doesn't look so so square. Right. Right. That should be okay. There you go. So we got this one side here. It's pretty smooth. I'm just going to soften these edges. Soften edge. And we'll see how that looks. That looks... Nope, that doesn't look right. So I'm just going to harden these ones. What's going on here? Uh, display. So I harden this. If I harden that. What happens if I harden this one? Hmm. Just quickly see what's going on here. Um, okay, so that's probably what's going on. Gotta delete these weird faces. That wasn't needed. There you go. Now it doesn't look so weird. Alright, so, um, if I split this, I'm gonna hide this, uh, man scale, dude. I should really rename it. Man scale. Uh, I'm gonna call this kind of... So this, I'm actually going to... Move this out a little bit more, just a tad bit. Right now, I still feel like, oh, I'm thinking maybe it's this side here. If I take the edges there and I just harden it, see how that kind of that looks a lot better now. Okay, so I'm gonna take this uh, cube and I'm just going to uh, split. Nope, wrong one. Take that split. So now I know where the center is. I'm just going to turn on a wireframe here. Where is wireframe? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted wireframe and shaded. Where is that wireframe and shaded? There we go. And I'm just going to change the pivot point to the center there. I'm going to control D. I'm going to freeze the transformations and I'm going to go negative one. Then I'm going to freeze transformations again. Okay. And so now we should have two on the same side. I'm going to center pivot, scale this in a bit because I'm seeing already some Z fighting that's going on. Right, you see how this is like going coming through there because it's still too close. So freeze my transformations. So I'm just going to scale this in just a tad bit. There you go. So now we have like the arms, right? So now we have the arms. Uh, there's still some Z fighting going on, but it's okay. It's fine. So now we got kind of like this thing going on here. Uh, what I'm going to do here now is I will create another edge ring. Uh, where is that? Insert edge loop. Okay, and I'm just going to select that I'm gonna extrude it. I'm gonna go thickness. That doesn't look like that went really good at all. Um, okay, that does not. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna play around with this settings here. Should be okay. I'm just going to cut that out. I'm going to. Okay, so that should be okay for now. Kind of give it that kind of edge to it. I'll add some bevels into here. All right, let's go. One should be okay. It's doing some weird things here. Hold on. I'm not liking how this bevel came about. I'm not liking how this bevel came about. 
Let's see here. Extrude. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea, actually. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Hold on. Delete. This is what I'm going to do. Bring these all down so it's even, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert edge loop when it's flat like this. Just going to go like that. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna extrude from here, right? So this time it can't get screwed up. Sorry, did I just screw that? Okay, delete that. Bring these inwards. I'm gonna extrude face here. Bring it down. Let's go see how far that is. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to extrude this again. And this way, I just have a uh, possibility of one day maybe um, creating one that's like open. Like because I have it closed inside, uh, in the future, I might be able to just um, create one that's like open. Like have one lid open, so then there's an inside to it. So there we go. And then from here, I can lift it up. And I think that's going to be a lot better. There we go. And let's just uh, see this from the side view here. That's not the side view. Side view. Right, and then I'm going to get rid of the grid here. Where's the grid? I'm just going to angle it so that it's nice and straight. Oh, that's not going to work. Because right, right now we have this, and it's not like really angled correctly. And like this is not really clean. It should be up a bit. Angle like that. Right, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just got to look nice. There you go, and I think that should look good. There you go, now that looks beautiful. Alright, so now we have that going on. Uh, we also notice that, um, that there's some stuff going on here from the sides. So, uh, there's obviously some creases and stuff like that, so I'm actually just going to end part one right here, right now. Um, and then I will do part two... Uh, where I'll add some of like the the creases, or I'll show you guys really quickly. I, I'll add some of these like creases and stuff like that. And again, you can do this completely in 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 uh, in Endu, but I just want to show you guys how I would model it. And um, so yeah, all right. I'll see you guys again uh, in the next episode.